all right so i received few emails over the last few weeks but uh, i was busy and uh, last few days i am kind of sick <coughs> so i'm not able to make videos uh, to reply to answer all the questions asked uh, by many people over the email and first of all thank you for uh, sending me emails and watching my videos so but uh, yesterday i got one uh, very interesting email so i was uh, just trying to answer this question and this is very sort of a uh, bit comp complicated also the situation so here is the thing he want to ask me that uh, i have watched your videos thank you related to phd in ireland <clears throat> so here is his query i am currently doing masters in artificial intelligence from Technical University of Dublin. That's very good. My wife is already has a uh, my wife already has a master's degree, M Tech, <coughs> in computer science and image processing from India. Brilliant. She has worked as a lecturer for four years, and also worked for uh, nine months in sta uh, startups. So that's very good. Now she is planning to do a PhD in artificial intelligence in Ireland. That's good. So my query is if she can take a PhD in Ireland by next September or January, can I continue to be here in Ireland as her dependent? And can can I work and bring our kids here? All right. So you said you are already doing a master's in Technical University of Dublin, right? Now I believe your master's is either one year or two years. Now, if you do not finish your master's. And by the time your wife already arrive as a PhD student in Ireland, then actually you should not register as a dependent of your wife when you are doing a master's. Why? Because if you register yourself as a dependent of your wife who is doing PhD, then you will be given stamp to a visa which is very bad uh, because you will not be given work permit as a dependent of a phd student so in regards to your first question that whether if you want to be registered as a dependent of your wife my answer is no you should not given the fact that you are now stamp two as a master student in TU Dublin or wherever and when your wife will come to Ireland she will also be given stamp two now stamp two has 20 hours work permit whether dependent of a stamp two as a PhD does not have any work permit at all so never ever be dependent of your wife who is going to be a PhD student in Ireland um, yeah period no, no never uh, given the fact that uh, uh, you are already in you are already in Ireland if you were in India and if your wife all has arrived as a PhD student then I would have definitely encouraged you to be with her as a dependent and then when you come you here and you can apply for some jobs or something so that you also become independent that's a different story but now you are already in Ireland and your wife is going to come most probably as a PhD student as far as you say you, you said to me then never ever do that now your second question uh, is uh, or can I finish my masters 
and remain in post study stamp 1G for next two years but my wife can bring kids as dependent along with her brilliant yeah of course you should do that so let your wife arrive in Ireland as a PhD student you do not uh, declare uh, uh, as a dependent of your uh, wife I told you already why then uh, let her bring the children as a dependent and you remain in stamp 1G okay but if some purpose for any purpose any other purpose if you and uh, your uh, I mean for any government related uh, par government uh, business purpose if you have to disclose that you and your wife are both sort of uh, uh, in Ireland then definitely go to give your marriage certificate and so on for example let's say you and your wife is going to have a children or whatever then I don't know I, th I think no for children purpose no do not nothing is sort of needed I don't think for any other purpose you will have to declare that you will be you are sort of married. yes one purpose is that's the tax but when your w wife is in Ireland as a PhD student and um, if she doesn't work then she doesn't have to register with revenue and uh, at least that was the case for me uh, when I was a PhD student uh, but yeah in some case uh, when you when she is going to be doing some teaching assistantship she will get extra money and for that purpose you have to uh, she has to register with the revenue all right now for whatever reason if she has to registered with the revenue in uh, in in Ireland then only you and you I mean she and you as a will be treated as a single taxpayer all right so I work and my wife also work but our revenue account is kind of same uh, and it is declared that we are married and we are paying taxes sort of together so we do not pay tax separately we pay combined tax let's say my salary is uh, 40,000 euro per year and let's say her salary is 20,000 euro per year now total yearly salary is 60,000 euro and based on that the revenue will be deduct the taxes and uh, and so on but if we do not declare that our we are married and so on then my tax will be deducted separately and her tax will be deducted separately <laughs> I don't know uh, generally if you are married people are always paying taxes together so maybe that's the uh, easier and so on and so this is one purpose you probably have to declare but what I suggest is that you finish go on finish your stamp one uh, your masters if it is one year or two year <coughs> and get your stamp 1g or try to get a job which whose salary is uh, above 39,000 euro per year or sort of get us what I mean is get a sponsorship so that you will be given a stamp one visa and then and then your wife is a PhD and if you get a stamp one I mean you can live a decent life in uh, uh, in Dublin if you are talking about Dublin because now cost of living is very very uh, high so based on your wife's PhD salary and your part-time job <coughs> or whatever it probably be hard to stay in Dublin with children uh, but if you get a job more than 39,000 I mean as a sponsorship then things probably will be okay just okay I'll just saying okay so yes so I hope I have answered your question uh, so you should not be your dependent of your wife 
uh, you should go on your stamp on G. Uh, all right, thank you.